Barrera, now a News Total senior legal analyst, cited conversations the president reportedly had with former FBI Director Jim Comey and Attorney General Jeff Sessions. He had a private meeting with Jim Comey after he told two other people, including his attorney general, to leave the room, and told him essentially to lay off the investigation of Michael Flynn, Barrera told News Total's Jake Tapper on Sunday. We now know some weeks later that, at one point, he talked to his own attorney general, Jeff Sessions, and suggested is there something we can do to back off the case of the sheriff in Arizona Joe Arpaio, those are two bits of evidence. After Trump took office, 46 U.S. attorneys were asked to resign. Barrera, who served as the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, was fired after he refused to step down. However, before his firing, Barrera noted he had several conversations with Trump, something he said also leads him to believe that Trump would have eventually asked him to do something inappropriate. And then we have, from my own experience, the President of the United States, both as the President-elect and then as President, calling me on the phone, a number of times, which, is unprecedented, unusual, the number of times Barack Obama called me in seven and a half years was zero, to have a chit-chat conversation, Barrera said on News Total's State of the Union. However, Barrera said he would not speculate on what the President might have asked him to do. I'm not saying it's a certainty, but I'm saying based on what I know, and based on the oddity of being called on a repeated basis, and based on what happened with these other two gentlemen, Jim Comey and Jeff Sessions, that, at some point, I believe he would have asked me to do something inappropriate, Barrera said.